What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Cards at Ball, bringing you another Infinite Magic Raid tier list, it's epic tier list here, now some of you are going to, I'm going to get straight to the point, I'm going to get straight to the point because some of you are going to be like, Kazak, what is going on with Holder, okay, <laughs> alright, I understand that everyone hypes him up, but the fact is, he will always become food. He, will, he may be good early game, mid game, okay, but he will always become food. You will always feed Holder because later on he will just do nothing. He will just do nothing. So I'm sorry if some of you are offended by this. <laughs> however, however, I'm happy with him being in A, okay, because the ones above him, they don't, you know, that they have uses, so, so much use in, in various parts of the game as well, whereas Holder is just like an early game carry. <laughs> Um, and you will regress him. So, enough on that. Enough on that. You can all slate me below in the comments. That's fine. Um, I'm, you know, I'm kind of used to it by now anyway. Um, so, yes, it is an epic tier list. And we're not going to go through every single hero. I'm not going to make this an hour long, guys. Because, you know, if you want to hear about certain heroes, you can go to my previous Ultimate Epic Movie tier list where I spoke about a lot of these. Um, so you may want to check that one out after just if you want to hear about certain heroes as well. But... All of these in food, I am comfortable with all of these being used as food by all of you. Um, they just don't have enough oomph, they don't have enough use currently. So I'm comfortable with that, I'm confident with that. Um, if you feel like any of those below here should be above, let me know why. Um, don't just go, Kazakh, that's a trash tier list. Trash tier list because of one hero out of place. Let me know why. It's trash. Or well, let me know why that hero should be higher, please. Constructive criticism, guys. I welcome it. I welcome it. I welcome it. Um, now, B, it's, you know, the B bracket here, okay? We have Naya, who is a very good at AoE defense down, and Feist. Feist here. So, this is Feist, for those of you who don't know. Now, he can be a very good, um, a very good burn hero so if you have Bari um you know you're gonna definitely want to have the likes of Feist so if you're like wanting to build up a burn team in the end keep hold of your Feist because he will be very useful um he deals a lot of burn he deals a lot of burn and he can be very useful for that team Ofna is good in force tower sometimes because she can remove the shield from the boss um so you know and she does a bit of damage as well um but Lassa can be very good for a Poisoner team. Um, these are the ones, really, that I wanted to discuss. Um, Deshano is, is she's, just, she's just good. You know, she's just a good um, a good epic hero. She can be used a lot in Faction Abyss. Um, is it Vidar or Vizsla? Vizsla, Vidar. She can also be pretty beneficial, especially in Faction Abyss. Um, and, you know, like some of these as well on this tier or, or this bracket are all useful. Like Christian, I know he's an early game hero, but he's actually okay, you know? He, he definitely, if you have Christian, you can use him. Um, and Maury isn't quite as good as everyone made out to begin with. Um, Verto is very good if you have an effect hit team, because even if he's dead, he's still going to benefit your team. Kaido is pretty good with his, say, uh, shield um, and his stun as well. Uh, who else could we mention quickly here? Winnex, I need to do more testing on him, but he's a very fun hero. He's very fun. Um, unfortunately, Norma got a big nerf with her shield removal, but she can still be used, you know. You just have to <laughs> do a lot more runs for that shield removal. Uh, Pacino is also very good. Igea, um, he's a shield nuker. He's a shield nuker. And, um, you know, he, he can bypass the shield on the enemies. So there are select places we can use him as well. Moving up to A bracket. You know, we have um, a Boro who isn't S tier. He's not S tier. The fact is, is that his hits just are too sporadic. They're too spread out. They're too random for us to, to pinpoint anyone down on damage. Vegan definitely deserves to be an A. He's a, he's a fun, fun hero as well. Magus is a healer, but he's not a really strong healer. And that's why he's not up here with the likes of Maya, Liz, and, uh, you know, they just provide so much more. Poseidon is a PvP hero, really. You can use him in Faction Abyss, um, but he doesn't do much else other than buffing one hero, and that's not all the time, you know, so we need to be careful of how we use that. Wolsey is for poison teams. Um... 
And you need a really good poison team to activate him as well. So, you know... <sighs> It's tricky. Uh, Mafka is a very good poison epic hero. Um, and Lomaz is a very good bleed um, single target hero. Um, you know, he's probably, he's probably, he, I'd rather use Lomaz over Holder. Uh, Ruin is, you know, a lot of you probably don't have Ruin right now. And the fact is he takes a long time to build. He's purely PVP, let's be honest, um, after the testing that we've done with him. Um, but he's a, he's a good hero nonetheless. So definitely someone to consider. Luf, I know you guys know I don't like Luf because they nerfed his basic attack way back when they released him. Um, but he is pretty good for health burn. So, you know, don't shy your nose up at him. If you don't have health burn, you can definitely use Luf. Um, he will grant you some, 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 you know, some decent damage. Um, Holder, we spoke about Holder to begin with. We spoke about Holder to begin with. He just dies off. He falls off. So he will be used as food. Mark my words. Um, you can hate on me all you like. Just please be constructive about it. Um, Daisy. We did a showcase on Daisy. And if you haven't... If, guys, if you haven't seen any of my hero showcases, go to playlist. Go to my playlist. And you'll have all of my hero showcases and builds there. That will, you know, it should help a lot of you. I've covered quite a few now, so I will be covering more. But just be patient. You know how it is to build up heroes. It takes time, it takes money, and a lot of resources. Um, so Daisy is a very fun hero. She can buff all your allies. She can also deal good damage as well. And let's be honest, she can be used from early to late as well. Reeves is a big single target bleed damage dealer. Um, he can even be used in, say, Guild Boss. Uh, Frey is a very good damage dealer, especially when the enemy has shields. He will amplify his attacks and he will hit very, very hard. Don't forget as well, he's very good in PvP. Sinov is, uh, she's a very good healer. Uh, she's also immune to freeze when she has some exclusives. She, she can really be good to counter the likes of Nasil. If she does try to get frozen, she also gains 20% of a turn meter. So, if you're looking for a Nasil counter, this should be of some use to you. And she can speed down all the enemies as well. Maya is a fantastic um, AoE healer for our team. If we have full health as well, she will grant certain buffs on each tick of the hill. Um, she also does another separate heal. And uh, Maya definitely deserves to be in S here. Uh, Lester, I will always vouch for Lester because I'm telling you now, if you have a Margarita and then you have a Lester a um, E3, Lester will outperform the Margarita without exclusives. Um, so if you have a Margarita E0, um, use Lester. If you have a Margarita E1, use Margarita. Um, Lester can't outperform that once she's exclusive. Uh, but he is very, very good. He also has armor piercing. as has 100% crit rate up. I did do a showcase a long time ago on Lester. So if you want to check that one out, feel free to go to the playlist again. Kulfum is a very good healer. Um, she can, you know, she can do a lot for your team. She can also, um, I think, wait a second, let me just double check this. Let me just double check this. Um, bum, 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 bum. Does she grant them a term? Yeah, so she'll restore 20% of the ally's health, copies all the buffs on self, and grants them to the ally of selection. Meanwhile, enables this ally to act immediately. Immediately. She also grants damage immunity um, on some allies. So, you know, she's she's got a lot of going for her. She's also got provoke. She's got a shield. She's got defense up. And she can also do attack down one, defense down one. So she's very, very good. CL Cole, or I'll just call him Cole because it's easier that way. I haven't done a huge amount of testing on him. I'm going off the knowledge of other people for that one. Um, he is, however, he is, however, very impressive. And let me just quickly read through some of his um where the hell is he there he is uh, i'll just quickly read through a couple of his i mean he, he can grant a mortal on all allies of one turn and increases all allies attack by 20 percent um he puts vampire curse on the enemy that can be pretty handy um but what is it actually wait Skills no longer active when there are five layers of vampires curse increasing all the damage taken by CL by 25%. Um, takes extra damage when reaching a max number of layers. Removes shield from the... Okay, yes, that's that's why CL is, is very useful because what he's green, yeah. But he can remove shield from the enemy and then he deals 408% attack damage. He also causes defense down on his basic. So, you know, he, he is useful. He definitely deserves to be up there in S because he's useful late game as well. Hardak. Hardak. 
I'm telling you now, if you haven't even heard of Hard Act, he's the most slept on epic hero in the game. The most slept on epic hero in the game. If you haven't tried Hard Act, you have to try Hard Act. He is just amazing. He will help you so much early game, mid game, late game. He's very, very, very good. And I will, you know what? He's so much better than Holder. He's so much better than Holder. Um, he's just so much better. Please, if you haven't used him, try him. Try him because he's very good. Dustin, the new robot uh, who causes he, he shields. He also has an effect, I'm pretty sure, where he um, he cleanses self. One moment. Addition, exclusive level 2, he cleanses all control effects from an ally under control status and restores their health by 6% of their own maximum health. But um, it's at the beginning of his turn, I believe... Yeah, so it cleanses all the control effects from one ally under control status at the beginning of Dustin's turn. You know, it, that, that in itself is amazing. He also has a, is it 40% shield? 40% shield at exclusive free. Unexclusive, it's a 20% shield. And he also restores their health at the same time. So that as well is nice. And um, he causes effects hit down two on all enemies. Uh, effect down one, which is also very good. Moving over to Wim. Well, we all love Wim, right? With the consolidation, with the shield. Um, also, the, the long duration of the shield. Three turns. Um, you know, he, he is he's very good, especially paired up with the recovery horn aura because he gets another turn after casting his shield, meaning he can use another active skill. Um, Liz. Liz is like the, the, the queen of epics, right? She just is... You know, especially at exclusive level 3, she gives your team a 40% shield. She can grant them resistance debuff, so it can't be hit by um, an effect, as long as they had not had a turn. She can cleanse up to 3 damage over time on all allies. And she can also have the effect of hitting health burn on the enemy, although that's not where she's really key. It's, it's her survival for your team. Liz is absolutely fantastic now i hope that you know some people message me saying cars that can you do a fresh epic tier list because we just don't know it's so outdated now we want to feel safe and know what we can feed and this is what you can feed okay so if you're only just using this tier list as food then you know you i'm uh, you know i'm 99 confident that none of these are out of place if i am if if i if you are that one percent and you know that one of these heroes here is out of place please comment let me know um i'm happy with the rest of it as well you know these heroes above the food are all used in it i'm not saying you don't have to keep all of these okay you don't have to keep all of these consider this a guide that these other epics above are also useful elsewhere in the game you know i'm not saying that you know the s tier are the ones you definitely don't want to feed you could even consider the a tier as definitely don't feed when you start going below that Let's say B tier is um, debatable. If if they fit anywhere into your team, it may be worth keeping hold of them. All right, guys. I'm going to cut this one short. It's not another hour tier list. I hope I covered enough of the enough of it to, to help you feel satisfied, uh, safe with your decisions on what you want to do for now. Expect to see another legend tier list coming up pretty soon. But for now, I'm done. I'm Carl Ball. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone.